In this video, I'm gonna show you a fun, creative, and safe way to interact with your friends and family using Filmora 10. Just like this. Um, Elliot? One second. And remember, there's no limit to... W one sec. Hey, what's up? Hey Johnny, um, can you get Elliot's attention? Sure, sure, Thanks. yeah, one sec. <laughs> oh, yes, cool effects, like this. Cool effects, just like that. Keep watching. Um, can I get back to my video now? JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you're always updated on our next video releases. Split screen as a way to tell visual stories has been frequently used in film and TV shows to show interaction between characters. The idea of split screen may not be new, but the creative ideas on how to use split screen are endless. Today, I'm going to show you a creative way that you can interact with your friends and family even if you're not in the same room. Are you ready? Let's go! First, I have to plan out a scene where I have my friends pretending to interact with objects in each other's rooms. The interaction could be as simple as snapping a finger, giving a high five, or turning on a light. It's best to plan this out ahead of time with a storyboard. The storyboard can be based on one of Filmora's split screen templates or based on your own layout. I suggest writing a script and then practicing with your friends and family before you film. That can be really, really helpful. And really fun! For a basic shot list, here's the footage that you need to have. One person to act in each split screen, a prop to interact with in the house of each person, and you'll need a helper from home to pretend to be the friend who's reaching from off camera. All right, let's start filming. Have a friend or family member that you live with stand off frame and insert their hand into the scene pretending to be the character adjacent to you. Record a few different takes for each person just to be safe and then have everyone send over their footage. Once all the footage is ready, pick the best takes and import them into Filmora 10. Drag and drop the split screen preset you want your scene to be based on from the split screen tab to the timeline. Then import the footage to each screen according to the storyboard. If the storyboard is based on a customized layout, you can also manually resize each clip. Double click on the clip, open the transform setting on the top left, scale and move each clip so that the hand moving from frame to frame lines up. Now I can arrange the clips in the timeline so that the timing of each scene can line up between each shot. The most important part is the first time the hand is supposed to move from one frame to the other. Try to nail the timing to sell the effect. If you're experiencing lag during the preview, try clicking on the render button on the top right of the timeline to render out for a smooth preview. If the timing of your scene starts to fall out of sync, try splitting all of the clips before they start to fall out of sync preferably before one person's line. Next, make another cut sometime before the next hand crossing action. Take one of the character's videos from this in-between moment and then make it full screen. You can quickly do this by double clicking on the clip and unchecking transform on the top left window. You're now free to readjust your clips in the next part back into sync. Let's play it back and let's see how it looks. <laughs> oh, yes, cool effects like this. And that was one creative way that you could interact with your friends and family using split screen. Do you have any other creative ways to use split screen? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys next time and keep creating. Bye. Watch in Elliot's direction and smile for a good 10 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds is a long time.